If agencies of an Islamic state seek to engage in a defensive war, then, in accordance with the commandments of the Quran, they must first issue an open declaration of war. If the state has a treaty with the party it wants to wage war against, it must dissolve it. In Islam, war must be openly announced. Undeclared war is not permissible in Islam. Hence, according to Islam, proxy war is illegitimate. Suppose a Muslim government is embroiled in a war with another country. Even if this war abides by the necessary conditions for war that Islam lays down, it will still be illegitimate for Muslims to engage in any destructive activities against the citizens of the state with which the Muslim army is at war. In this regard, the destruction wrought on September 11, 2001 in New York and Washington is clearly and unambiguously illegitimate according to Islam. In the same way, even in a war which according to Islam is legitimate, Muslims are not permitted to engage in suicide bombing against their opponents. Islam does not allow for people to strap bombs to their bodies and force their way into their opponent's military camps or into civilian settlements and deliberately kill themselves in order to eliminate their opponents. This sort of action is definitely not martyrdom, and nor can it be justified by terming it a desire to attain martyrdom.